But uh, yes, with, with, with the good luck, it was, uh, uh, there's always a huge element of luck. Nobody ever made their, their reputation without luck. And this extraordinary piece of luck, and it was phenomenal for a sitcom, Light End, Light Entertainment, was that we got the two girls, uh, they went to see them in a stage play written by Alan Aborn, need I say more. Uh, they were terrific, Felicity Kendall and Penelope Keith. They were terrific. Uh, they were a little uncertain as to, because they were well-known, well-respected stage actors, but they weren't well-known to the public, because you're not on television, you know, you, you work in private in the theatre. And uh, they eventually, we sort of persuaded, a uh, little persuasion, and said, you know, do do it, because you're so perfect for the parts, which they were. We got Paul Eddington, who was an absolute first 11 light comedy actor, and like myself, was slightly more of a farceur. He's much, he much dare I say, more subtle than I was. So you get that his team comes together, you get John Howard Davis who was an actor, remember, you know, Oliver Twist and all that. He knows the stresses and strains of acting on television particularly. And so this extraordinary sort of five people came together and exploded. Uh, I mentioned before that we were worried that it wouldn't uh, appeal to a, a huge audience. But you see, Penelope Keith was dynamite. And when we started, uh, she and Paul were the supporting actors, and we were the so-called TV stars of the series, right? Uh, within a couple of, two or three weeks, uh, uh, Bob Larvey said to me, she's, I said, she's wonderful. And of course, the part they created was wonderful. It was the English snob of all time, <laughs> which <laughs> the public love. <coughs> he said, she'll be write her up. I said, you've got to write her up, write her up. So then it became a quartet. Paul was written up. And then the next door neighbors became quite as important and as big as our parts. And as a quartet, it was fairly unbeatable.